Disclaimer, if you're easily offended by swears, then this is not a video for you. Awkward as fuck. Hello you guys and welcome to a new fucking video. So a while ago I asked on Instagram, I really wanted to make a new video and I wasn't sure if I would make a tutorial, like a makeup tutorial or a Q&A video. And most of you guys answer that you want to see a Q&A. Probably because I suck at tutorials, but we get the shit anyway. I made a few posts on Instagram where I asked you guys send me questions and you guys sent me a whole fucking bunch of questions. Like I got over 60 questions, I think that's a whole lot for me to pay. I'm gonna try to answer most of them. I will answer those that were asked more than one time probably. And if you want to know anything else that is not in this video, then you can just send me a question and I will answer you personally. I'm sorry if I'm not going to answer every single one of those questions, but they are a lot, you know, so I can't really answer them all. I'm sorry if I'm going to keep looking that way and that way, but I have two different mirrors uh, to make sure that I'm in the screen because I cannot see a fucking thing. Okay, so let's go to the first question. So on Instagram, xtuxtux asks, what is your favorite online shopping site? My favorite online shopping site has to be eBay, because you can literally buy anything for 99 cents. Da Lilith is asking, guessing your natural hair, <laughs> guessing your natural hair color isn't blonde. How do you keep such a long bleach hair healthy? First of all, you have to hydrate your hair a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot before bleaching. Then you have to take like three times a year after you bleach it. And the tip that I can give is that I never wear a drugstore product. I only use um, like professional hair magicians so or whatever. But I can make a whole video about it because I have a lot of people that ask me this. Via Sykes asks. Who's your style inspiration and what kind of music do you like? Uh, I really don't have a style inspiration. I think my style inspiration is nothing that is out there. Because I hate to see people wearing the same thing as I am. I hate to look like someone else. So what I do is, I research a lot and I try to do nothing that I see online. So I can I can tell you that my, I don't have a style inspiration. It's just my, my own style. Many of the things that you see are like DUI or really old stuff that I later modified or something like that. So I really don't have like style inspiration. Regarding what kind of music that I like, a lot of people ask me this. Um, I really like death metal, I really like trash metal, I really like black metal, heavy metal, speed metal. Anything metal, okay. Emily Hayes asks, how often do you get your hair dyed? I love it. First, thank you for loving it. And second, uh, I try to dye it like every four months, I think. If I want to dye with colors, then I'll just do it whenever I like. But right now, I stopped dyeing it because I really just wanted to grow out. Now, bleaching is not healthy at all. Like, Consider it before you bleach because it damages a lot. So right now I'm not gonna dye anything anymore. Serena99 asks, favorite YouTube channel? I really like um, record labels channels. You know, like Nepal Records or Metal Blade or something like that because you know they're always launching new video clips and like bands that I like. So I really like those. Maria Tebereira asks, what's your favorite band? My favorite band all fucking time since I can't fucking remember is Slayer okay fucking Slayer I think I do not need to say another word about this okay <laughs> Moon of Doom asks where would you like to live I would love to live in a place like Norway or you know some place with snow it has to have snow Granny Dixon asks What's the hardest part in planning a shooting? The hardest part of planning a shooting is when you have a fucking big idea that costs like a million euros, then that sucks dick. When you want to have like so many props and so many backgrounds and the best models and then you don't have money for that. That is the worst part of planning. I spit myself. That is the worst part of planning a shooting is when you want to plan a whole fucking thing and you have literally no money to spend on it. That's the worst part of it all. 
J-V-V-K-K-O-L-V. -K -K Biggest fears and how about dreams? Biggest fear is to fail. I hate to fail and it's it's the worst fear of it all is to is to fail in everything that you work hard for. How about dreams? Uh I have no idea, like I I don't I don't like to think a lot about future and stuff like that. It's just it is what it is and whatever it comes then I will take it, you know. Okay, so Smart Beauty 013 asks like the best question ever. If you were once ice cream flavor, what would you be? I would probably be children's tears. Cute yet creepy asks, did you get your ears pointed? So a lot of people in comments on my pictures keeps asking where did I get my ears surgically modified and stuff like that? My ears were made in Photoshop. Oh my god. Yeah, so my ears are Photoshop on those pictures. And uh, if you ask this, you probably didn't read any of the comments or any of the answers that I wrote in those pictures. Because I always say, I never claim they were real, I always say they're Photoshop. But many people like to believe that they are real. Probably because I'm so good at editing. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Creepy Gothic Girl asks, how many languages do you speak? So, I can speak English. Uh, eu sei falar português. Já sei falar um pouco de espanhol. Bueno, je parle un petit peu de français. Es sprechen de Deutsch. A bisschen. The swearing count as speaking because then I know how to speak Italian. Often cool of testa de cazzo. Sab Delia, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, asks, What's your favorite book? My favorite book is The Doors of Perception by Alice Axley. Kaylee 096 asks, How do you respond to negative comments in public? Did you have ever experienced them? Well, it really depends on the comments. Yes, I have experienced them a lot of times. Actually, I did. That did happen to me today where I was walking, minding my own business. And this kid pointed out at me and said to his mom, Ew, mom, look, it's a goth. Firstly, I'm not a goth. There is a difference between being a goth and being a battlehead. Second of all, his mom did absolutely nothing. She could have corrected him, saying like, People can be whatever they like, but she decided to just stare at me like the kid did. To that kind of comments, I just don't respond. I just look them dead in the eye as if looks could kill. But I have experienced some direct comments to me where people would say that I look disgusting, I look like a drug addict or homeless, which is weird as fuck, but anyway. And to those kind of comments, I just answer things like, well, you don't know me, so you can just fuck off now. Thanks, I have more to think about, so yeah, go ahead and die. I don't really give too much of a fuck, so fuck them. Disney Dolly asks, what contour product do you use? I always tag the brand that I use to contour, which is Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. They have the best contour palette of all fucking time. I mean. If you have fair skin too, then that is what you absolutely need. Valkyr... Valkyr J.E. I'm sorry, I don't know how to read your name. Uh, how did you start photography professionally? I started professionally as a kid photographing weddings. Yeah, I think I was 15 or 16 and when I turned 18, I was like, okay. This is something that I have to look at, like something that I want to do in the future. Sally666 asks, do you play in the band? If yes, what's the name? Jenna, smile emoji. Okay, yeah, this is really cool. A lot of you guys have been asking for my band. Like, you figured out that I'm into music. That is awesome. Uh, but I'm not gonna tell you the name of my band because uh, we do not have anything online. We're in the composing music kind of phase 
and we have nothing out there. So if I told you the name, it would be pretty disappointing because then you'd look for it and then you'd find absolutely nothing. And that's just sad. So whenever we're ready, I will tell you the name of the band and I will show you all the links and musics and whatnot. Proxy Lemon asks, how did you learn to do your own self-portraits? Is there a strength you feel when doing your own thing instead of having someone behind the camera? Yeah, mostly because I feel really awkward if someone is behind the camera, so I would rather do things on my own, so I don't have to bother about that. Melissa Mosquito One asks, What is your advice to someone that wants to be a photographer? Could I go to college? Just take a course, try to learn things by myself. So if you read the interview I made for Indy Berlin, uh, I answered this question. The best thing for you to start as a photographer is to try things on your own. That's how I learned like 90% of photography, was doing things on my own, was trying out, was figuring out what works and what does not. So I would just grab your camera and do whatever you like. Laura Lunaris asks a pretty good question. What's your favorite piece from all the Rogue and Wolf collections? Firstly, I don't have one because they're all so perfect. I cannot pick one. <laughs> But I'm always wearing the Hunt rings, uh, the midi one and the regular one. And I really also love the bull rings in black. It's gorgeous. Kimo EV asks what contact lens you wear. I don't wear any contact lens. If you're asking this because of the pictures, I sometimes change the color on Photoshop. I never wear contact lenses, even though I sometimes wear the Sclera contact lenses. Lithonium asks, okay, question. Do you ever do TFP-based work? If by TFP you mean time for print, then yeah, I do. I know it's not, I mean, it's not a very good thing, because no one gets paid and everyone's working, but if you see all the works that I did for modeling agencies, they are all TFP. No one paid me and no one paid the models, but it was an agreement between everyone. Mounted Headaches asks, do you have any tips for eyebrows because yours are always fire emoji. What do you mean? <laughs> and also space ones. I just fill in the blanks. I don't have like I don't have like a formula to to do them, I just I just fill in the blanks. Space ones. Uh, I don't know, I just grab a half of it. This is not gonna look good because I did not brush my hair. Fuck. Twist it. This is not gonna look good. <laughs> ah <laughs> fuck. Okay, so I twist it. I don't have a mirror, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, and then I'll put a and I'll put a like an elastic band or something. Sophie Alley, cutie, <laughs> asks, when do we get to see you again? First photo on your phone and last thing you cry left that. I don't know when I get to see you again and why do you have to ask this question? <laughs> I really want to see you right now. First picture on my phone is a picture I took of my boyfriend like four years ago for a campaign I did for steel boots and shoes. Last thing I cry laughed at was, I don't remember, probably some video. I always cry laugh at stupid videos or vibes, so yeah, probably. <laughs> Keeper of the Faithless asks, at what age did you get into modeling slash photography? What inspired you to pursue it? Firstly, I do not consider what I'm doing modeling because I do it for fun. Yeah, it's not quite modeling, but I started this photography thing really early in high school when a teacher of mine made my class use Photoshop. And I had absolutely like zero knowledge of Photoshop. And at the time I was really like, well, why? This shit sucks. I don't want to do it. And then I got to it and now I'm obsessed with it and I don't want to ever stop working with it. Sumua asks, I have many questions. So, do shooting allow you to live correctly? Like, do you have to work and take some pictures? Yeah, it allows me to live. Yeah. What are the steps for your shooting work? With out of portrait, etc. I always do like a planning. I always sketch things, many of you don't know, but I also, I'm also an uh, illustrator. I always sketch things up before shooting because it's really important to have things in your hand and have something that you can look at and get a physical, um, a physical idea of what you want. In which city do you live? I live in Lisbon, in Portugal. 
Yeah. Yes, in Europe. Do you work out? In summer, I always like jog. So I always try to jog between like an hour or something. And mm, sometimes yoga and stuff. As I know that you like metal, Bathory, Motorhead, do you like black metal bands like Marduk? Funny that you're mentioning Bathory. Yeah. <laughs> of course I like black metal, like I really love black metal. I really love uh, Behemoth. Jota Kirosh. Hi. Is asking, um, favorite movie? Probably every single one from Quentin Tarantino. Because it's Quentin Tarantino, but I have to confess. The movie that I know all lines is Nightmare Before Christmas. Can you describe your vegan diet? I eat every single little thing you eat except the meat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if one song could describe your life, what would it be? Probably Threshold from Slayer. Favorite feature about yourself? That I can roll my eyes so hard that I get to see my own brain. Kelly Rose asks, how did you get where you are in life? By working my butt off. You never get to anywhere by waiting or doing absolutely nothing. You get to places by working fucking hard. So Cito's is Fashion Rebel asks, what's your favorite stylist? My favorite stylist is Saul Nicholas. If you don't know her, She's the stylist I always work with because she is fucking amazing and I will put her link in the description down below. Okay, so thank every single one of you guys that sent me questions. I'm sorry I could not uh, answer all of them, uh, but feel free, feel free to keep sending me your questions because I love talking to you guys, I love getting messages, I love answering messages. So please do keep sending them, even though I'm not doing a Q&A soon. Also, sorry for all the baby hairs flying, fucking around because I did not think about this. I did not think this through. Also, big fucking disclaimer right here is that I'm not being arrogant answering some of the questions. I just happen to be born with an arrogant like face. I just always have this resting bitch face look. I swear I'm not being arrogant. I answered every single question with a lot of love. Uh, I just happen to look like an angry bitch all the time. Sorry. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, I already have an upcoming video plan. It's gonna be a patch footwear haul. I've never done a haul before and they sent me three pairs. I would love to share it with you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Uh, doing this video um, Don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below I will leave the rest of the links down in the description box and I will see you in the next video Rock on Well, this is so a pior to do these